All right. So I just wanted to go live for a little bit today. Not very long. I just want to show a couple of projects I am working on. I probably will only be on here a few minutes. But these are some of the photo paper that you guys have seen me uh, paint some of the photo paper. And after it dries, I've taken it and I've put it through my, you guys can actually probably see that, uh, my Cricut. And so I put a bunch of the photo paper through the Cricut. And this is some of the things that I've been cutting out and getting some canvases prepared to put on. Put these on canvases. Hey, Radu, how are you doing? Good morning. Hey, Robert, how are you doing? So I got these cut out and I did, I've cut out so many things. Uh, I did these. These are Seattle with the Space Needle, the profile of the Space Needle. And one of them I'm going to put on a black canvas and one of them I'm going to put on a gold canvas. So that's what I've been doing with all of the um, painted papers. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Robert. Um, I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. What time is it over in India? I'll show you guys a couple more. Let me put those down. And then I did some seahorses, mermaids, like coral. Just a whole like random um, bunch of different stuff. There's actually a whole bunch of the mermaids. Some just like whale tail, like mermaid tail. 9.35 in the evening over in India. It's 9 o'clock in the morning here. So, yeah, that's some of the things that I had cut out. And so now I'm going to take some canvases and paint them um, gold and a couple of them, this real shiny um, metallic blue. And I'm going to paint the canvases and then put these onto the canvases. It's nine o'clock in the morning here. It's pretty um, start of the day here. And then I was also messing with a bunch of, um, you got to be careful because they're very delicate. So I was also messing with a bunch of uh, hexagons. And I think I'm going to paint some canvases gold and then adhere the hexagons to it. I got to trim a couple of them, just trim them. But they've turned out just so pretty. You like the mermaid? Yeah, the mermaid's really pretty. I did a bunch of the mermaids because they were turning out so nice. So I did a whole bunch of those. And a bunch of these um, hexagons as well. Because I think those will be real fun to put on a canvas. See, I could paint a canvas like this bright green color. And then they would really pop on the canvas. So I just wanted to pop on here for a quick second just to kind of show you guys what I was working on. And then I'm actually going to get back on this evening to actually um, work on some of this. And then here is um, like a vector where it's um, vector all cut up. Uh, it's a unicorn, but I was already starting to glue some of it down. So it's, it's part of it. Hey, Dina, how are you doing? 
I was working on my turquoise challenge last night. So I've um, I've got my my kit die cutting machine, and I've been cutting out all these hexagons. But just a second, let me show you. These are going to be cut into hexagons, and um, these are going to be part of my turquoise challenge. They've got whoo. It's, it slides right off. <laughs> so, yeah, those are going to be a part of it. I'm going to do similar with these hexagons. And then um, I use the matte medium and then take the matte medium and put them onto the canvas. I'll arrange a bunch of hexagons, but I'm going to use these ones with the They've got copper, turquoise, and red. Oh, Radu, you got to get going. All right. Well, you have a great night. And thank you so much for stopping in. Oh, thank you, Dina. Thank you. Um, Hey, Angie, how are you doing? So the turquoise challenge is on Dina Tollefson. Uh, she's right there above you in the chat. It's on her channel. And it's it's a great challenge. She did one here a couple months ago that was the green gold challenge. And uh, it's pretty fun. And so um, check out over there on Dina's channel. Oh, over 70 artists. Wow, that's awesome. It's going to be so fun. I love all the, um, the group collaborations. Oh, hey, I rock creativity. How are you doing? So I was showing here, I'll show a couple of things um, that I was also working on. I... Um, they're very delicate. So I'm going to adhere those to a canvas, a really, really like dark blue canvas, almost almost a black canvas. Yeah, Angie, um, check out Dina's video. Um, I'm not sure if you can post a link in the chat or not, Dina, but if you can, if you're able to post a link, uh, you can go ahead and do that. But uh and then, uh, yeah, it's on July 26th. You can put up your video and then she'll make a playlist of all the videos. So, yeah, definitely check that out. And I did these guys. And that's Seattle. That's um, the up here in Washington, Seattle, the Space Needle. So those are just a few of the things I've been working on. And um, let me show you. I have some seahorses and so yeah, I've got all kinds of little projects in the midst. I got my uh, cricket out. And that's what I've been cutting these with the Cricut die cutting machine. And these are just the photo paper. And I've taken the photo paper that I've painted on other live streams. And I put it through the die cutting machine. And I still have lots of little scraps. I can do some mosaics or I can do some more pendants. But lots of little scraps still that I can use. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with the way the Seattle turned out. I'm going to do one on a black canvas and one on a gold canvas. Oh, thank you so much, Dina. Yes, it was so exciting. Such an amazing art show. And um, it's just, it's, you know how it is. It's just a good feeling. I, um, the week leading up to when I was getting everything ready for the art show, 
I was doubting myself and I was, you know, I didn't, I almost didn't take certain things. I almost just left them at home. And actually a lot of the larger canvases that I actually ended up selling uh, were some of the things I was going to leave home. I was doubting myself, but um, it turned out so nice. And it was, thank you so much. It was an awesome, awesome weekend. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop on here just real quick and kind of share some of these. So, this is coral. And um, I've gotten here, right here. So, what I'm going to do is some of these canvases, um, I've got some that just kind of need a little something more to them. So, um, this one's a little bit dark. This will get lost in it, kind of. I've got a few of these blue canvases that are a little bit lighter and a little bit muted. But this is the only one I had right next to me. So, I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea. But this background being so dark, this will kind of get lost in it. So, if I had a little bit lighter of a background, and then I'm just going to layer up, kind of layer some of these up. And that's kind of my plans for these. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll make a, uh, in my community tab, I'll share your, uh, I'll share a post about the turquoise challenge. And and maybe on Twitter and some of my social media, I'll, I'll share some about the turquoise challenge. Okay, only mods can drop links. I wasn't real sure about that. Uh, I know um, there's a little spot you can mark and I wasn't sure if I marked the only mods or if I had it where you could. I wasn't real sure. But yeah, you can kind of imagine it here. Um, if it had a lighter canvas and it wasn't so, um, this gets kind of lost, but I was going to kind of just have these kind of leading up the side and, and then I've got seahorses, all kinds of things that I can add to the canvases. Hey, Elena, how are you doing? I owe you an email and I, I have the email written out. I just haven't attached the pictures I wanted to. So I haven't gotten the pictures sent. But, like, here's some turquoise. Um, I have turquoise with kind of some blues and a tropical orange. Or I have turquoise with, like, purples. So, yeah, um, I could totally make a pendant in turquoise very, very easily. These are um, where I've cut out in the, um, the die cutting machine. So, yeah, I have the email all written out. I just need to attach those pictures and get it sent. But, um, yeah, this last weekend, that big art sale, it wore me out. I slept almost all day Sunday, and I'm still kind of um, adjusting to getting back to the swing of things. Big, huge cells like that really, really wear me out. So, but I, I'm getting caught back up with everything, caught back up on the, you know, housework and all the dishes caught back up and the, the laundry caught back up. But it took me a couple of days of recovery. Okay, awesome, awesome, Elena. Yeah, I'll get that email sent and we'll get that worked out. Because my last giveaway, Elena was one of my giveaway winners. So I had three giveaway winners. And the people that won uh, first prize and second prize didn't even respond. So Elena is the only one that actually responded as one of the giveaway winners. So yeah, um, so we're, we're working out her uh, prize for her the giveaway for my thousand subscriber giveaway I did gosh month um, almost two months ago so all right so I, I rock creativity you're gonna do it awesome 
Yes, yes, Elena, I've got one. I've got a couple in the works, and I'll show you what I've got worked out, and you can pick one out of that. Oh, yeah, I rock creativity is only probably one of a few that couldn't enter because she had just won the giveaway. But I, I've got some plans on some giveaways coming up. I would like to do, um, like some giveaways during live streams. I'm thinking like every live stream that I get 25 likes or, you know, something like that. I, I'm thinking about coming up to. Oh, you got monetized, Elena. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm uh, three quarters of the way there for the hours. I still need a thousand hours. So I I'm getting there though. So, yeah, that's awesome. And this next week, I'm going to do a couple of extra live streams. I'm just trying to get those hours. Live streams are some of the easiest ways to get your hours. So, yeah, um, I'm going to figure out something. But uh, I'm thinking like every 25 likes, I would give away... Um, some magnets or uh, a light switch cover or some a pen pendant or something um, along those lines I'm thinking about doing. Because I've done the giveaways where it's like during the videos and um, I get people that uh, don't even watch me that are just people that enter giveaways. And I really want to do it uh, a giveaway where it's just the people that watch me. So like the people that come into my live streams and stuff like that. But thankfully, um, the people that have entered the giveaways are not people that watch me. But thankfully, everyone that has won is uh, great friends and stuff. So Iraq Creativity has won a giveaway. Elena has won a giveaway. So that was exciting to see people that, you know, they actually, you know, interact and you watch their videos and they watch your videos. And that's really exciting when they win. So I'll share a couple more of these guys that I was doing. Just a bunch of little. Yeah, Angie, all you do is you just let her know that you're, uh, you just do a video on July 26th, and it just has to have the color uh, turquoise in it. That's, that's pretty much how you do it. So yeah, just have your video ready to go anytime on July 26th. And then she'll put together like a playlist of all the videos. See, if I take a lot of these and I layer them up, they look really neat. A lot of the. Oh, thank you, Elena. Awesome. So I've been doing uh, like scenes with underwater with mermaids and coral. And then on top of the scenes, I've also been doing like geometric shapes. I've done a couple in diamonds, hexagons, stuff like that. Elena, you did the green gold challenge, didn't you? You did the last one that Dina Tollefson put on. I'm pretty sure you did. Uh, they're fun. I, I like the challenges. And then there's another one that um, Artsy Studios is doing. And Artsy Studios, it's a um, worldwide sketchbook tour. So that one's another neat one that's coming up as well. Oh, Angie, your turquoise is your favorite color. Awesome. So that works out really well. Yeah, um, turquoise is right up there. You know, I don't have a favorite one color. I just like um, pretty much, here you go. Here's my favorite colors. It's got the turquoise, kind of the plum, the dark blue, the fuchsia. These are all the, my favorite colors. They're kind of all represented in this one. 
but I don't really have a one favorite color. But I'm thinking about for this one, so I've got a bunch of these, and then I have this color shift. So I think I'm going to paint a canvas in this color shift. It's, um, I don't know the color of this one. It's just like a blue that shifts to greenish, you know, these color shift, shift colors. Um, and so I'm going to paint one, a canvas in this color and then adhere these ones on. I think they'll really pop on top of this color. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Artsy Studios. He's doing a um, sketchbook tour. So yeah, and then I've got this one where it's a really metallic turquoise. And I think I'm going to put these ones on that one. This has to be kind of trimmed a little bit. Uh, it, you have different settings on the die cut machine. And sometimes I don't have quite the right setting, but it's okay. It just, um, I have to trim it just a little bit. Hey, H7, how are you doing? Yeah, we were, I was just showing some of the die cuts I've been working on. Here, I'll show a couple of them. Here's my Seattle skyline. The tip of the space needle is very delicate. There's the Seattle skyline I was working on. And here's some koi. These ones I've been working on. And I've been just getting them all cut out. And then I'm going to get them adhered to a canvas. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Chef, Chef Rika, how are you doing? And I did a, this getting it adhered. So you stick them to these sticky mats. This one I was working on too. It's a, it's all cut apart little pieces. Now I just got to pry it off. These are very sticky. It's the paper sticks right to them. So yeah, I pretty much now have shared little anchor, all kinds of stuff. But um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'll probably get back live on here. I'm gonna put the die cutting machine away now that I have all these cut and get out my canvases and I'll start adhering some of them. I'm using the uh, matte medium to uh, kind of as my glue. And so um, I'm thinking about four o'clock, five o'clock, I'm going to get back on live actually building some scenes and actually collaging and putting some down on there. But um, right now I actually have to go get my blood work done. I was supposed to do that yesterday and I have not done it. So um, I have to go before it gets super crowded. If you wait till afternoon, because you don't have an appointment, you just got to go do the blood work. And if you wait till afternoon, the it gets way too crowded. So I need to just pop in there and get the blood work done. And then I hope to get back on live um, about four o'clock Pacific Standard Time uh, gluing some of these. So, yeah, what is everyone else doing today? But, yeah, I wanted to show you guys those. I thought they were turning out pretty, pretty good. And I have lots, lots more paper to cut. Here, let me show you guys. These are all the ones that I have that I can go through and cut still. 
So I have tons, tons ready to go. But yeah, um, I hope you guys all have a great day. It's kind of a short live stream this morning. Just wanted to show you guys those things. But um, later this afternoon, you guys can see it all get put on the canvases. You, Elena's at work. H7's playing uh, GTA 5. Uh, I can't think V is um, 5, right? Yeah. For some reason, I couldn't think right now for a second, but five, yes. Uh, and developing a stock strategy. Awesome, awesome. Doing contracts. I got to do a couple contracts in a little bit too. <laughs> so uh, I got to get to the doctor, do my blood work, get back here, do, get a couple of contracts done, get them emailed off, you know, all that stuff too. I got to work in a little bit too. I just work from home, so... But yeah, you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully you can catch me later, four o'clock Pacific Standard Time, between four and five, but I'm hoping to shoot for closer to four o'clock. But um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I, right as I said, have a wonderful day, Elena said it as well. All right, so you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you all later. <laughs>